often people suggest that Britain is simply too soft, you know, and when you look at it, maybe we are, because seemingly we allow our cultures to be wiped away by people that have come into the country, not to are grateful at all for what we've given them, and then basically take to the streets to try and push us out the way and say ter terrible things so that we're not allowed to put up our own statues or indeed our own flags and be proud of our heritage. That to me is the biggest problem. But now over here in the United Kingdom, there's another problem that is gaining a lot of traction, shall we say. And it already centers upon a beautiful spa town in the very heart of North Yorkshire. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you today in this luscious green area. And you could say the same, of course, for the luscious greenery of the beautiful spa town in North Yorkshire that is Harrogate. And it's really been famous for so many years. People went there during the Victorian era to take the waters. If you ever taken those waters, wouldn't bother personally. A little bit, shall we say, fragrant. But people believed in the sort of medicinal purposes of them. This was, I suppose, the Google of their time, you know. You'd read about it and suddenly, apparently, if you ailed anything, colds, flu, whatever, if you went there, had restful sort of, you know, respite from it all, stayed in one of the wonderful brand new Victorian hotels, of course, all going via the wonderful brand new Victorian railways, well, you'd feel a lot better. Of course you would. It's a wonderful area with so much history and even today looks magnificent, all thanks to what the Victorians left behind for us. You know, the big Hotel Majestic is literally magnificent on the top of the hill as you come into town. The Crown Hotel in the bottom area of Harrogate, so much history and apparently associated with none other than Agatha Christie too. Wonderful stories there if you get the opportunity. But now over here in the United Kingdom there's simply uproar and it's all regarding the fact that Harrogate's about to get its very first, well, one of these. That's right, a mosque. And the thing is, the reason behind it is simply this, that according to the council, they need a mosque because they've got a burgeoning Muslim community building up. Where hasn't? But the other side of the coin is this. The point in the piece of it is that, well, they're concerned because visitors and outsiders coming in won't have anywhere to go and worship. Now, one might say, of course, there's already enough mosques up and down the United Kingdom far more now than Christian churches would have been taken over by uh, people buying them out and turning them into mosques. Now what's fascinating about this story is they've taken a building, they're not allowed to change it much, but the fabric of the building will be radically different and certainly won't fit in to the beautiful spa town look. And what's also interesting about this is whenever you take a you know particular sort of brand, whether that be something like Greggs or Costa Coffee, you are told by the council that it can't be obtrusive, it has to blend in with what you have in that particular area. Well, how does this blend in in that particular area? Now, let me tell you, the do-gooders, of course, say, oh, it won't affect anything, but it will. It will stand out, well, incredibly so. And, of course, for those that need it, I'm sure that's there for their benefit. The town itself is apparently very split, but, of course, being genteel and, of course, Yorkshire, they're not quite sure exactly where they stand. When you look at the council, apparently they're back in this, and the other side of the coin, it's definitely going ahead. But I don't know about you, but should there be areas in the United Kingdom where anything like this, whether it be a mosque or whatever, an obtrusive building, shouldn't be allowed simply because it breaks with the fabric, the look of that particular area? It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a record store, a McDonald's, whatever. It should be compliant with the look of the area. But seemingly, once again, the council have capitulated and given in. I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.